Hey friends. So I had a question on one of my um, videos or a comment or co comment question on one of my videos that I just now saw. Um, and instead of giving a big long explanation in a comment, I figured I would come on here and do a video. The question was, um, how do you know when you've solved the case on the Hunna Killers? And it's different for each one. If you buy the $30 all-in-one games from Amazon or Target, those ones, think of it kind of like Clue. You have an envelope at the end of the game that you open up and it tells you if you're correct. Basically, it tells you if you're correct and it gives you like a little further story as to what happened to said person. Uh, now, if you get the bigger boxes, such as the subscriptions or the... Um, the retired subscriptions, all in ones that are, you know, $165 and up, those you have an objective out of each box that you have to do. Um, case in point, uh, on my curtain call video yesterday, the first objective was you had to find the murder weapon. You send it, you send the email to your virtual email on your contact, and uh, you tell them the murder weapon. And if you're correct, you get a congratulatory uh, response. If you're not correct, it basically tells you to try again. Uh, once you get the murder weapon, then you were eliminating suspects. Again, you put in the suspect you think, and if it's correct, they, they congratulate you, give you a congratulatory response. If you're wrong, they tell you to, you know, that's not right. I don't think that's right. You, you got to, you know, you got to try again. For the Blair Witch one, uh, they, you know, each one you've got different objects that, objectives that you have to do. For Blair Witch, it was um, finding locations and, you know, a lot of dealing with the ciphers, you know, figuring out who was sending these notes that were ciphered. You had to, you know, decipher it and figure out who the person was. And let them know who it was. Um, for um, Mallory Rock, I'm assuming, since it's a murder investigation, again, you will be finding out who the killer is. Um, I believe, from what I have seen in previous posts from other people, I believe in box one, the objective is finding the, um, the murder scene, I believe. I could be wrong. I won't know until it actually gets here. But um, that that's basically what you're going to be doing. Um, again, once you get one of these boxes, either, you know, the subscription or you go to Target and you buy one, everything that you need is in the box. Um, if you want to take notes, all you need is notebook, paper, and a pen. You can take notes on anything you want. Um some of them are a little bit more difficult to you know figure out and some are very easy um if you want to start off easy i would start off with death at a dive bar that one was pretty easy to figure out um and it's a good you know like step uh, foot step in to figure out if you like this um so it, honestly, in my opinion, I think that before you get a subscription or anything else, I think you should try one of the um, all-in-ones that are either at Target or Amazon. And those are um, Death at a Dive Bar, uh, Murder at the Motel, the Nancy Drew one, and then their newest one is Body on the Boardwalk. I would try those first before you think about a subscription. Um, I haven't gotten Body on the Boardwalk yet. I want to. Uh, I'll probably order that out of my next paycheck. And um, because I, I'm, I'm obsessed with these. I love them. Uh-uh, Stormy. So I hope that answered your question. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. Please subscribe. I love seeing your comments. I see you every day. And it makes me feel good that at least somebody is, you know, I know at least somebody is watching my videos. 
Um, also, I created a Facebook page yesterday that's associated and tied into my YouTube. Um, if you if you're on Facebook and you want to follow that, it's at True Crime Mama. I put that in one of the comments for you. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to get to know you better. Um, I hope you follow me on Facebook, and we can become friends, because I love seeing your comments every day. It just, it makes me feel good. <laughs> um, I will talk to you later, and I'll see you probably in a few minutes, or in a few hours, to open up that Pete's Coffee and figure out what that rattle is, because that is weird. But I'll see you guys soon. Bye.